everybody Jonathan back here on Ridgecrest again today and uh, today we're gonna be moving operations I've decided that I'm kind of tired of where we're at and ready to move to somewhere else and so I've already got the scorpion uh, set up over in our new spot and we'll head over there in just a minute once we finish out this uh, fuse just maybe another load or two of buffalo up on top of the hill where the loaders at so we'll go ahead and get that and then we'll get that chipped up and get those delivered and then we're gonna be moving everything over to the new site. Well, making a big mess. Yeah, it's it's nice doing it this way until you uh, don't get a good grapple and then everything falls out. Oh well, we'll clean up all this later with the Brooks wood chipper. Alright, what's going on here? I think I fell, oh I did, I fell off the ramp. <laughs> yeah, this ramp's not quite wide enough. I tried to put two of them side by side and thinking that might help, but it just didn't quite work out. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't let me place them close enough. Uh, I was either going to have to use one ramp or um, two ramps really wide apart and then that wasn't going to work either so I just decided to go with one. I, I wish there was a ramp that was just a little bit wider. I'll have to be more careful with getting my loads over here to the beast. too big of a hurry and then all right now I don't know what's going on with this but sometimes yeah well we're doing good today aren't we yep doing real good yeah sometimes if you uh, get your grapple into the beast there's some collision weirdness that goes on and then you can't uh, sometimes it, it just locks up and you can't get it out of there and when it does it just breaks free and then all of a sudden you've got a mess we'll see if we can't right ourselves. Well, let's, let's just go ahead and get this thing off of here and then we'll get it back up on the ramp. And since I'm here, I might as well grab some of this stuff. Try to clean some of this up. I don't know if I can reach it from here. Maybe. Oh, I think I can. There we go. Yeah, if this ramp was like maybe, I don't know, just two feet wider, <laughs> it would be a huge help. So if you made this ramp and you're watching this, uh, make it wider and put it back up on the mod sites. <laughs> because there's like a very, this, I think it's this track machine has, the collision is on these tracks are just a very narrow uh, spot. And, you know, I thought that that um, beast was supposed to be putting out more wood chips. Why is it not, do I not have my uh, trailer good or something here? There it goes. I must not have had my trailer positioned just right. Now it's going. Alright, well let's go see if we can't get 
a couple more loads maybe with the this buffalo and then we're going to move over to the new site Still got about 3,000 more liters to go, and we, oh, it's not going to get full. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting tired of this site. It's, uh, I don't know, it's alright, but I just want to get somewhere else where we can truck the wood a little bit, and then uh, we can be doing some other stuff while the truck's gone. This uh, Ponzi buffalo is not made for what I'm trying to do, so it's a little, uh, a little tricky getting it loaded with this thing, but it, it works out usually. Yeah, this set of uh, uprights, I guess if you want to call them, there's a, there's a big gap. Whoops, not right there. Um, the third gap, well actually the second gap back in between the second and third upright right there where I'm trying to get my grapple through. Anyway, right there and then the one behind it, there's a bigger gap right there. If you can get your grapple in between those, usually you're alright. Or if you just, you know, lift it up high and then kind of drop it in, that usually works too. Let's see, I wonder if I can get that piece right there. I'm trying to get just as much as I can so we can get moved on. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up uh, this this pile right here and then the one that's in front of the grapple loader and whatever we end up with all that, that's what we'll be moving on. So Come back later with the brooks and get it all chipped up. It's going to be wood chips anyway. So no sense in trying to pick it up with this thing because it just doesn't do a very good job. be able to get one or two more on there. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Barely. <laughs> Barely got it on there. I was thinking it was going to roll off the other side and at the last second it just popped right into place. I didn't have a good, very good grab on it and was trying to reposition it and just automatically uh, decided it needed to go where it had to go. 
Okay, that's, I think that's all I'm going to dare put on that. Grab that one good. Alright, I think this truck's full. If it stopped, yep, then we're good. Right, let's get this one out of the way. This one should be close too. Yep, there we go. Okay, so there's 140,000 more liters. And I'll tell you what, let's try the follow me. I'm going I'm to take it real slow this time. Eventually, when we move somewhere else and get the beast set up, I'm going to have a nice course play route set up. We won't have to worry about all this follow me stuff although it is nice when you just need to go a short distance or uh, you know don't want to necessarily set up a course play route just to do one little thing but I'm just gonna go kinda slow maybe it'll keep up nicely this time problem is I can't really see back there to know if it's hanging with us going this slow it should be okay last time I tried to go up in those trees somewhere <laughs> I think I was going too fast We've kind of reached the point in this bunker where we can't empty out anything past in that empty spot between the two piles. We can't em empty out there, so I'm going to have to just uh, empty it out near the front and then push it back with the dozer. And that's something that the author of this map did fix uh, with the later version. But I had already started on this one. I didn't want to completely start over again. So maybe if we uh, 
move on to a different map and then come back to this one or something. I can download the latest one. That's pretty much all I had in mind for this map was I wanted to uh, see how many wood chips it took to fill up this giant bunker. Well, there's 140,000 more liters. I think that's going to put us somewhere around about 3 million liters in there, if I remember correctly. Uh, of course, I'll have the total at the top. I'm not really keeping up with it off, off camera here, but yeah, I'll have to get that push back. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get this truck back over here, and we'll probably going to have, I would say, one more truckload of wood chips before we get ready to move. I'm going to leave the other truck right back there at the sawmill for right now. up on the grapple. This thing just does not like 
one log. One small one anyway. Okay, now I've also got something else in the way. This Sometimes I wish that this uh, grapple wasn't even on here. Okay, this will be the last load on uh, this site anyway. I'm probably going to end up keeping the buffalo. Uh, I don't see any reason why not to. Uh, I was hoping to, you know, have the grapple loader load the logs directly onto a truck and trailer, but we may need to truck some logs with this thing. I don't like the looks of that. I was trying to slip out of there already. So there's the beast trying to get my grapple again. I don't know, that's something is hanging it up. And see, that's what I was afraid of. I'm, I've fallen off. I don't know, this is ridiculous. The 
grapple collisions or grabbing something inside the beast and it's hanging it up. Should be a load right there. Oh, so close, so close. Uh, let's see. Uh, I tell you, I wonder if we can. Uh, let's let me get this thing out of the way. not go with a full load of 70,000 liters, so I don't want to have to do math. Let's see if we can pull some of these logs out of here and grab them with the uh, grapple loader. We don't need much. I think these two right here may get it. Yep, I said two, not one. Stop just a little bit left. Okay. There we go. Alright, we're doing pretty good on time. I'm going to get this one delivered and then we're going to move our operation over to the new site. I'm thinking about setting up the beast somewhere where I've got some easy access and then just trucking the wood to the beast. I'm not sure. I was, I was hoping to, to be able to use the log truck and log trailer, but we'll just have to see how it all kind of works out. Okay, so let's take a look at the new site, and uh, where I'm at on the map is uh, north of the sawmill. Well, actually, north, kind of northeast of the sawmill. 
the sawmill is where those two blue dots are. And that green dot's the uh, dozer. Uh, let's see. I, I think we can probably. Oh, the other cool thing is, look look at this. I got this little. I uh, found this little tree marker uh, script thing mod whatever. And you can uh, walk up to a tree and hit M and it marks the tree. Although it it put on the back side of some of these trees. I think you have to be on the uh, back side of the tree. Like if I was wanting to point the X towards the um, scorpion, I think if I if I'm on this side, well, no, it put it on this side too. Oh well, maybe it's random. <laughs> but um, I've got a bunch of these dead ones marked. I was just kind of playing around, but we we may just end up cutting them all. But uh, I was thinking about maybe just in some areas cutting just the dead ones and marking those with the red paint. That's kind of neat. Anyway, so let's see here. You know, there may be, I'm probably in, I'm definitely going to set the beast up right along in this flat spot area somewhere. And I'll put the ramp next to it with the uh, grapple loader. And it'll leave us a good spot for the trucks to come in and out. Of course, I'll have to have the beast on the, well, the trucks have to be on the left side of the beast. So if this scorpion is the beast, then I'm either going to have to set it up, point in this direction right along in here somewhere probably right about there and then the trucks can come along on the left hand side which means we're going to have to have the right side free that's, that's plenty of room yeah and then we'll just use the scorpion to come up into uh, in fact might as well go ahead and get that set uh, I think I'm going to use three meters this time okay alright so let's get the beast over there and let's get everything uh, turned off and folded up Yeah, I was really just wanting to get everything moved um, to a different location just for a change of scenery. Kind of was, was just getting tired of that spot. This new spot's got a nice big flat open area. Let's see, can I get to it from here? Uh, I think I can. I think, this, yeah, this is how I got there originally. I still don't know my way around this map very well because I've kind of been sticking close with the sawmill. But I think if we go up here, go straight, not left, and not tip the truck over. I'm going to go across this little river, I guess it is. Creek. <laughs> through the swamp and then you go up this little road through the pass and it should be yep just to our left okay so where do I want to actually set this thing up at well, let me see. You can't get out of here going straight. So I'm thinking I'm going to put it on the other side, point in the other direction. The trucks can come around this way and loop, loop around and get to it. So I think right about there is going to be good. Okay. 
Okay, go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, I think I am gonna go ahead and use the follow me. I'll just go kind of slow. I found another neat little mod just before I started recording this. It was actually a little um, weight mod. It told it told you how much uh, the weight of the logs were in your trailer uh, and the volume of the logs, but it, it wouldn't work for some reason. And first of all, when I loaded it, um, I I didn't see it in the mods list. So I had to go check it out and see what was going on, and it uh, actually said that. In, in the error log that it was didn't have the right mod description version so I changed it to 31 but that didn't that didn't do anything it didn't still didn't work so I don't know that would have been really neat but maybe somebody come out with a different version or get it fixed or something it could have even been for farming simulator 15 I've had a lot of that where you know it's it's on the farming simulator 17 uh, mods page or whatever but it actually is for 15 somebody just goofed and put it on the wrong thing I guess and I hate it when that happens too it looks like a really neat mod and you go download it and it doesn't work it was a Peterbilt dump truck that I wanted to use that didn't work uh oh what is going on with our truck back there okay well that's yeah, that's not where I drove before. Yeah, this follow me mod's kind of goofy sometimes. If you drive kind of slow though, it does generally do a pretty good job. So if we swing out wide and come back under here, we should be good. Yep, so that'll work. Now we need to get us a um, ramp over here because we can't transport the one we got. We're on some good flat ground, so we shouldn't have any problem getting a ramp down. Uh, let's see, let me spin this thing around. That's not where I wanted it. Hmm. Well, I don't know which one. Okay, well, it says one day there. Zero day. That must be it right there. Okay. Well.
Okay, let's try this again. I couldn't really see very good, that's why I was wanting to get rid of that when I was trying to see if I couldn't think, figure out a way to spin my camera around. But can't see how close I am to the beast. That should be pretty good right there. And we can reposition the beast too to get us in better spot if we need to, but I think this is going to work out pretty good right here. Oh yeah, that should be fine. Alright, so let's see, we need to get this thing, well we need to do some cleanup with this. I'm going to leave that for right now. Let's go ahead and get this one brought down the hill. And we'll try to get both these grapple loaders loaded up onto one trailer. I think what I'm going to do is just back the uh, little boy down in here and I'll load him up instead of having to drive him out to the road or something like that. See, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this ramp right here because we may come back to this site at a later date uh, if we don't fill up the, the deal. But I'm going to go ahead and get these wood chips, uh, these pieces of wood, go ahead and get them picked up. You know, I'm really wondering if we even need this anymore because we're not really processing logs the same way we were. Oh well, yeah. think about that later. Okay, now we may have fun getting this uh, up the hill over there, but we'll see if, it, if we can make it happen.
my trailer is trying to slide down the hill. It wasn't on a good flat spot. We'll see if that works. This may not be a good idea. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Well, we'll go one at a time. Probably better in the long run anyway, because that way I can shorten up my trailer and I don't have to get high centered anywhere. Why can I not go anywhere? Must be high centered on this little ridge. Yeah, that's not going to work either. We're about to get it off there, though.
Well, it's looking like we won't have enough time today to uh, get the get everything set up over here, but we'll I'll get everything uh, going in between videos, and when we get ready to go next time, we'll have everything set up and operational. Okay, I was trying to get my map pulled up. I forgot I had turned all the HUDs off. <laughs> trying to get some uh, footage for my channel intro. I'm going to be doing a, a channel intro video like whenever you go to a, somebody's channel page and you see the video start automatically. Usually something to do about what their channel's about. I'm going to be doing something like that pretty soon. Just trying to get some footage put together. We're going to stop right here. Oh well, I guess we're stopping right here. Yeah, this map is nice, but uh, it's just pretty. Pretty steep terrain, I mean, not a lot of flat spaces. Oops. Didn't pull my truck up enough. I just barely have enough room to fit on this thing. I got like inches to spare. <laughs> All right, and I'll tell you what, I, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the video here for t today. And like I say, in between videos, I'm going to get everything moved over here, set up, and we'll be ready to go for next time. But we got a couple loads today. We, it wasn't a, wasn't a total waste. But uh, anyway, we'll we'll be ready to go for next time. Alright, let me get this truck back over here and pick up the other grapple loader and then we'll get the other machinery that we need moved over to this site and we'll be ready to go. So, do appreciate you watching. Uh, tune in next time. We'll have uh, everything ready, ready to go over on this new site. I'll get some course play routes set up to... Uh, that's loud. I'll get some course play routes set up so we can deliver... Well, not deliver, deliver the wood chips, but at least drive them to the sawmill. And... Uh, yeah, then we'll be able to use our log truck next time, I hope. And we'll be able to move a bit more wood around. Uh, you know.
know, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't. I just had an idea. I, maybe we'll try that, and uh, next time, if it works out, I'll, I'll let you in on my little idea I just had. But anyway, we'll we'll see you next time. And uh, till then, this is Jonathan on Ridgecrest. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.